coming into the season, we were excited about the depth that we would have, but also understood there'd be challenges kind of bringing everybody together. Certainly the kids that had to sit out from injury. I mean, it had been a year since they had played, um, as well as our vets. And then they have a whole new group of, of young kids. And uh, we knew it would be challenging. It certainly, I think that's part of uh, what we do every year. Um, doesn't matter how, how many numbers you have, it's just about bringing them together and teaching them. Chemistry uh, is always a big thing. Uh, it doesn't really matter how many players are on the team. Uh, I think that's pretty much like a deciding factor. You know, when you're trying to go out there and play for each other every day, you have to really know each other's tendencies and things like that. So I think that that was definitely one of the, you know, the more and the more pressing issues that we had to try and figure out, just like any other team, I think, at this time of the year. Slowing down a little bit was important in the beginning, especially from a defensive standpoint, to make sure that we kind of understood um, what our rules, what our philosophy, what we're trying to accomplish, what's important. Um, getting them to understand that side of the ball is probably the, the thing that I think is the hardest. Seven new people have to learn all the drills, all the defensive slides, um, the offenses that coach puts in. Uh, I took a lot of patience for the for the veterans, for sure, just to, to help them out and not get frustrated with them, not being able to like, pick up things. Adjusting to college was big for me, just uh, physically and um, conditioning level and the strength of it all. I mean, the posts are so much bigger. Going against Jazz every day is crazy because she's so strong. But now going through the season, we've played some games. I'm, I'm getting in the, the hang of it. and. Everything's going pretty well for me right now. For the new kids, I think they did a really good job, actually. Um, they, were, they were in the gym, and they had questions they would ask, and, and we were able to help them out. So it wasn't a huge transition. I think it went pretty smoothly. To understand the journey, we've talked a lot about understanding the journey, that it's a process. Embrace it, engage it. Everybody is going to have opportunities at some point in their career. Some are earlier, some are a little bit later. And just have faith that your work ethic will see you through. Tonight, it's the 23rd ranked Michigan State University Spartans taking on the University of Georgia Lady Bulldogs. The ball is tossed in the air. The tip is won by the Michigan State Spartans. And here we go from the Breslin Center. Lob inside, Griffin stumbled, lost the handle of the ball, and Hines picks it up. Gives it to Green, who pushes in transition. Working one on two, kicks out to Taylor, drives the near baseline, goes to the rack, and lays it in. The Spartans take the lead. They're up 4-3 in quarter one. Green out on the left wing with the dribble. Shuffles to her right around a Hines screen. Triggers a three. In and out, and back in again. 3-10 to go in the first. Spartans to our right with the basketball, up 21-5. Green on the left wing, lost the handle on it, but Taylor picks it up. Back to Green, tries another three. Book it! Morgan Green with her third three. Spartans are perfect from long range and lead 24-5. 1-10 to go in the second quarter. Spartans up 30-23. Bulldogs with the basketball to our left. Ingram on the near left wing. Up to the top for Washington. Down low to Barbie, cut into the hoop, picks it up, goes to the rack, missed it. Taylor on the defense, and the rebound tipped to Green. Here comes MSU from left to right. Green to Jan Koska, top side three. Yes! Boy, did the Spartans need that one. Lead back up to 10. Hines underneath, goes up, misses it. Misses a layup from the near left block, but Taylor grabs an offensive rebound. Didn't hit the rim, shot clock did not reset. AG drives with the right hand, able to finish on the near side. Whoa, that was beautiful. Spartans from right to left. Jan Koska behind the back dribble, driving to the rack, and she lays it in. Schedule with the bounce, guarded by AG, and it's stolen away. Randy AG in front of everybody, going to the rack with the left hand, and she lays it home. Custard in transition, tries a jumper, comes up short, but Allen grabs it and banks it home. I'll tell you what, when Jenna Allen's been on the floor with some of her fellow freshmen, she's looked good offensively. The Spartans win 66-45 against the Georgia Bulldogs. MSU improves to 2 0. For 
us, I think it has a lot of positives. You know, when you when you travel in those situations where you're playing in the Bahamas or Puerto Rico or different places, it's also an opportunity to build team chemistry, to go somewhere warm with a lot of sunshine, obviously from our state. Uh, this time of year, it's a good opportunity to take a break from the cold weather. It was a business trip, first of all, I think, you know, something that you go to the Bahamas, you don't really think of it as being a business trip, but certainly it was. Uh, we had to play some really tough competition in Cincinnati and then Baylor. But um, besides that, we were able to, I don't know, go to the beach. We had a little beach day. It was actually, it was, it was a great time. It is hard to keep focused because you're in the most, one of the most beautiful places in the in the country, in the whole world, actually. You know, you get to do jet skiing, the banana boats, and everybody's having a good time. Uh, we just had to make sure we stayed focused on basketball. Got our little Thanksgiving dinner. I think it was a big stepping stone for us. It was a place where we were able to grow together as a team. So when we do play big name teams like Baylor or um, we got Ohio State and Maryland coming in, we're ready to step up to the challenge. Michigan State, Cincinnati ready to go. Love it and Taylor are at center court. The ball is tossed in the, in the air. We are underway for the Junkanoo Jam. Green bent over the bounce at the top of the key. We're scoreless, 50 seconds in. Over to AG on the left wing. Up top to Taylor, around to Jankoska. Near corner three. Yes! Jankoska knocks down the three ball. The Spartans are on the board first. Spartans off to a strong start offensively. Five of nine for the field. Cincinnati just one of five. Bob down low to Powers. On the left block, goes up off the glass and in. MSU up by five, 150 to go in the first. Green inbounds to AG, makes the catch underneath. Contested shot, up and in. Spartans up 28-19 with 7.30 to go in the second. He's got the bounce on the near right wing. Turns down a screen, kicks to Lexi Gusser, her three, that's in. Lexi Gusser knocks down her first long ball attempt of the day. Owens drives from the left wing, forces it up off the glass. It's good, but no, take it off the board. A charge taken by Kaya Taylor. 2.45 to go in the second. Tries to drive now, crosses over, steps back with a jumper and buries the long two. That's no good, missed it right. Johnson with a rebound, spins to the right shoulder, floats away, misses the jumper. Allen offensive rebound, back up, off the glass and in. And the foul and Allen is heading to the line. Starts up 46-23, their largest lead of the day. Jack Costa lobs to Powers on the near left wing. Triggers a three ball, and it's in. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Ariel Powers, 67-38. Powers to the top of the key. Crosses over the near side. Left of the lane, kicks out to Jan Costco. Left wing three, book it. Jan Costco lights out from long range today. 25 for Tori Jan Costco. There's the buzzer, the ball game is over. Spartans win 103-63. Most points they've scored. It's 2011, career high for Tori Jan Koska today. Ariel Powers up over 20 points for the first time in, uh, this season. And the Spartans win uh, against the Bearcats. We have quite a few hurdles to still get over. Um, you know, we're just kind of coming towards the waning side of the uh, preseason. But I think for us, um, Definitely just trying to understand how to play well together and going out there with a little bit more belief. I don't think with the amount of talent that we have in the room, anyone could really stop us. So we really just have to play and be confident. You know, we have opportunities in front of us to play some really, really good teams, obviously with uh, Maryland and Ohio State. And you know, there's four or five of us, I think, ranked in the top 25. We have a very deep league, a very good league. 
a lot of different styles of play. It's a grind, it's tough. So, you know, for us to finish out right now the non-conference is to really push forward and be the best team we can be to prepare ourselves, obviously, for some of the best teams in the country. I really like the, the way we fought this season, to be honest with you. I think we have a, a high, our effort level is usually pretty high. I think that's the thing that I've been pretty proud of. I think our kids are committed to the defensive end and they're disappointed when they maybe don't perform as well defensively as they should. So for me, I think um, also watching some of these kids develop, you know, is important. Um, I think Brandy's been a big bright spot for us this year. I think Tori out of the gates was someone without Ariel when Ariel wasn't playing for us that we had a little chip on our shoulder and something to prove and I think we've played with that that edge which is important I think for our ability to move forward and be the best we can be. The journey is always so sweet. You say you want to win a Big Ten championship but the things that you do along the way, you know, that's what really makes anything more substantial than anything. So I think just growing with the team and you know seeing how far we can go. Thank you.